Hello, this week we're going to be going over adding a contact form to your website using Fast Secure Contact Form. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now, WordPress Andy Marketing Tutorials that give you the keys to web presence and put you in the fast signal of success. Plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. Um, now as we get started, I had previously made a tutorial about this and the plugin has completely changed um, for the better. Uh, it's actually my primary plugin that I use right now for um, contact forms. It is um, it's fantastic and we will get started. There is a table of contents uh, in the video description. If you've um, already installed the plugin and you're just stuck somewhere, you can use that to skip around and get to it. Also, kind of um, as I demonstrate how to use the plugin, go over some of my preferred settings because there are some default settings that I just think are kind of annoying. So I'll show you what I do to make it look the way I prefer. So first thing you're going to do is go in and install the plugin. We're going to go to the dashboard first, and then we'll add the plugin. Okay. And you're going to search Fast Secure Contact Form. I also put a link to download it directly in the video description, um, in case that's how you prefer to install your plugins. So we're going to do this first one, Fast Secure Contact Form, by Mike Chalice and Ken Carlson. Done. There's also a lot, of, a few extensions that are pretty cool for this plugin. I'm not going to go over it today, but um, there is one that integrates with um, this text messaging system, so that the, instead of getting it by email, or you can get probably get it by both email and a text message. All right. So now, next thing you're going to do is on the left here, go to um, where it says plugins. Now you have an option for FS contact form. Click on that, and that'll bring you to the options for the form. And it's now set up in nice tabs. I, I I hadn't used this plugin for a while. I installed it recently, and I really was shocked at how 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 it's come a long way. It just it was always a good plugin, but now it's a it's a great plugin. So if we go down, we have the form label. You can pick what you want that to be. I usually just leave it new form. I don't really think you need to. Introduction, that's the text that goes over over the form, which we'll get to after we go over the initial settings. You want to get your um, email in here. So let's do, um, you know, this is the email that will get the form submissions. So wherever you want that to be. You pick the subject. I always change this because you don't need some some weird uh, text in here. I usually say website inquiry, or if it's a, um, a form on like a support page, you say you know support request. All right, and then once you update those couple of settings, just hit save changes. Now the next thing that we want to do, actually the most important thing, would be to go over the fields. And this is what has gotten a lot easier. You click on fields in that top bar, and then you see the default fields are um, whoops, name, email, subject, and message. I almost always change this. I never use the subject one. I kind of, um, I don't know, think people would see subject and just get kind of confused. So what you do is on the right tab, click show details for subject. And you can't delete it, but you can disable it. So click disable and then take it off as required and then click save changes. Now that'll make it so that our form fields are name, email, and message. We can add a new one by clicking the blue add new field button that's up on the right and also on the underneath on the bottom. And once you do that, you put the title, you want to show the details, title of the field. I usually add a field for a phone number. I keep it as text. Here are your options. You have um, checkbox, radio. We'll go over adding um, one of those next. But we won't go over every single field because they're pretty straight, pretty straightforward. You can make it required by clicking the box to make it required. Hide details. And then you can just drag and dra drag it to where you want it to go. Um, right here. I'm just going to put the subject at the bottom. Right, and then I save changes. And now we can add it to a page. Um, to add it to a page is pretty easy. Just go back up to basic settings, and then you'll see the short code right here on basic settings. Copy that, and that will go to the page we want to add it to. 
All right, so let's go to our contact page, edit this page. Okay, and paste your short code on. Update the page. Now view the page to check our work, of course. And then you see it is in there. So here's what I have. Here's where I'm going to go over some of the things I don't like and that I usually change. Um, for so I usually don't use this text above the form. I usually would just put that on the page above the form. You can change it though, so it's something that you want. I never use this indicates required field. Um, at this point, people have been using the internet long enough that they understand this asterisk next to it. each field means required, so I just don't use that. And then also, if you go down, this is partly what I love about the plugin is it, it has a CAPTCHA already installed, but I usually will not even use that unless I absolutely have to. So to start, I'll show you how to take that off, and um, I'll show you how to take that off, and um, and then show you some one other spam tool they have on here that you can try to use before having to use a CAPTCHA. So let's go over those settings. I'm going to go back to the dashboard. All right, and then I'm going to go to plugins and FS contact form again, like we did before. I'm also going to go over the redirect. So that's after they hit submit on the form. By default, it brings them back to the home page. You can make that go to any page, like a thank you page or something, which is great. If you don't want it to go to a page, then you just turn it off. And to do that, you go to advanced. All right, and then redirect settings take off the enable checkbox right there and saves changes that'll take the redirect off now let's take that text off of the top questions comments are welcome delete save changes and now the only other thing we need to do is um, other two things to do take off that captcha and um, take off the captcha and take off that label so first we'll go to labels and then there's this one indicates uh, required field. Take that off, but leave the one that ha leaves the asterisk so that they understand that that means it's required. But we don't need the blurb on top that that says what it means. And then next, go to security. And then right there where it says um, enable capture, take that off. But enable honeypot. Uh, that's just a spam tool that should help should help uh, eliminate spam and if it doesn't just turn the caption on but um, I try to get it away without using it and um, it's usually it works okay usually I don't, I don't really get m many spam messages all right and now if we go back and look at the form you'll see that it's name email phone number message and submit uh, just a lot cleaner looking taking out some of that stuff and that's it it's another super tutorial provided by compete now wordpress and e-marketing tutorials that give you the keys to your web presence put you in the fast lane success plenty more on our website at stockcompeting.com slash tutorials we also provide web design services should you decide that you need some help in your journey to um, success on the web uh, we can do that